keep right onto Moon Ridge Way, then it bear right onto Big Bear Boulevard. On December 29th, 2021. Um, should be snowing right now. It should be snowing pretty good right now. At the stop it's sign, bear right onto Big Bear Boulevard. Check the forecast. I did get, I did get two hours of sleep. Like it, it wasn't much. I kept on getting interrupted by noises outside, but I'm feeling a little bit better. But it looks like I'm gonna get a lot more sleep now because it doesn't even look like we're gonna get any snow till noon. And I don't think it's because the storm took a different track, you guys. I think it's because, uh, no, I think it's because the storm took a different track, not because it's in 3.1 miles. Turn left uh, onto Greenway Drive. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm very disappointed. I don't want you guys to think I'm being pessimistic, but I think we're only gonna get a foot out of this whole thing. Maybe 18 inches if we're lucky. You know, ho hopefully we could get more. That would be great, but it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. And I wanted to give you guys an update. Um, I mean, we're definitely not gonna get 56 inches. As I said, it should In be- In a quarter mile, right turn left onto Starvation it's, Flats Road. It's such a bummer. It's such a bummer. Know what happened i expected to wake up because i kept on looking at the clock and it was like eight o'clock then nine o'clock and i still wasn't asleep and then ten o'clock and then finally my alarm woke me up when it was supposed to start snowing and i you know i jumped out of bed or jumped out of the couch really excited turn left onto starvation outside, flats road it was not snowing at all and I looked at the weather forecast expecting it to show it start to snow in like an hour. Nope, not the case. We're not even gonna, it's, it shows that it's not going to start snowing till noon. So most of you that are up here in three quarters of a really mile, excited. turn left onto McAllister Sorry Road. My, uh, the background noise here. Um, those of you who were very excited to wake up to a bunch of new snow, uh, it's, it's going to be quite the disappointment. And I feel horrible about that. Because I know you guys take a lot of time off and that costs money and then you spend a lot of money to get here and all the traffic to get here and all the usurious charges up here. And uh, I just, I, I, I feel horrible. I feel horrible. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get a little lucky and still get a foot and a half. But I've, I wouldn't be surprised if it's literally just a foot. I hope we, I, you know what, I'm not going to be more pessimistic than that. But I mean, this is this is standard procedure for the weather forecasting up here. And of course, like we, we might get a couple little snow flurries in between now and noon, like just a few. But it, it's it's gonna it's it's not gonna be anything. It's gonna be like driving through a, a little bit of fog, like that type of like precip. So I'm so bummed out, man. And I do apologize. I do apologize especially to all of you that drove up here expecting to wake up turn left onto McAllister Road winter wonderland it's gonna start tomorrow in the afternoon well technically today in the afternoon apparently we shall see it says noon right now it's supposed to start snowing there's a 30 percent chance at noon I bet by the time I wake up if I can even get back to sleep it's gonna be pushed off till later and later and later and as I said I don't think it's because the storm stalled. If that was the case, I wouldn't be as bummed out because we'll still get the same amount of snow or more. I think it's because- uh, At the stop sign, the storm turn left track. onto Sugapine Road, then turn right onto yeah, Division it's, Drive. It's, it's such a bummer, it's such a bummer. Anyway, and as a matter of fact, there's a couple snow flurries falling right now, but it's, I mean, I'm, I'm certain that's going to be the best of it until it actually starts snowing. So we'll keep a positive attitude for you guys. Turn um, right onto Division Drive. I, I just really hope that it does happen. Hang on a second. So yeah, guys, I'm sorry. But once again, at the next traffic lights, turn right. And, and just, uh, you know, hope that this is because the storm stalled. That's not what it looks like, though because even the snow numbers on the weather forecast went down. It went down to like, so tomorrow or today technically, at night we could get, it says like eight to 12 inches. And typically that, that never happens. And then the following morning we could get eight to 12 inches. So I'm, I mean, 
I hope we, we at least get a foot out of this because it'll still be the most snow we've had all year by a long shot, like uh, by about double, even though parts of town did get about a foot out of this last system, but I'm talking about a foot of snow and just in, in the regular part of town is, is the most that we would have all season. Um, but for all of you, look, look at, look at every hotel, every hotel. At the traffic lights, that. turn right what onto West Big Bear Boulevard. so many people probably looking out their windows wondering what the heck's going on because it should be snowing by now. So I do apologize. I, it's just disappointing, man. I don't like you guys wasting your time and wasting your money like this because I know everybody works their asses off. In 1.2 miles, turn left onto Greenway Drive. someone wanted me to take because I haven't been down Greenway in a, in, in a while so I just wanted to take this little route and this is just a basic update you guys usually I, I wouldn't do this update because there's nothing to, to update however because there's so many people staying up here right now and visiting and really anxious and excited I, I mean I hate to be the big bearer of bad news but 56 inches yeah right I mean I'm I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that it still happens but I doubt it I doubt it get to the bottom of the mountain though you guys who are, who are coming up driving during the storm please fill up your gas tanks at the very bottom and then right when you get up here fill up your gas tank again very important and look see there's no gas here unbelievable they're sold out crazy okay what a bummer as i said i got about two hours of sleep at the stop sign and because turn of right snow that we've had the past few days I haven't slept much. It's really difficult because I want to keep everyone updated. And I really do care about you guys. I want you guys to stay safe. At the next traffic anyway. lights, turn left. This is just crazy. I mean, there's like, there's a couple snowflakes falling. But that could just be from like the top of the trees from the wind blowing because above us it looks like I, I mean it looks I can see stars I don't think you guys can see the stars from here but I can see stars above us what a bummer man all the little kids that that wake up early I, I'm just I, I'm so glad we at least have some snow outside already but still at like, the traffic lights turn left onto Greenway Drive transformed this town by it should have been really heavy by now. Let's just put it that way. Anyway. My phone keeps on doing this. Hang on a second, guys. Hang on. In half a mile. All right. I apologize about that, guys. We're on Greenway right now. There was just a little issue with my camera for some reason. It kept on trying to refocus on things that I'm not trying to focus on. So I restarted my phone and it looks like it fixed the problem. But anyway, yeah, I'm looking up right now up here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I, it's a little bit cloudy, but I can see stars as well. Now, when we make a left and head back towards this side of, of the town, which is the Big Bear Lake area, this is typically where the storms come in from. Well, always come in from on this side in the wintertime. I can see it's a little more cloudy, but still, unfortunately, we're not getting any snow. And, oh man, I'm just so disappointed for you guys, man. But, I'm not going to complain about it anymore. I've already done enough complaining. Um, trust me, those of you who, who, who know this channel, you guys know how much the snow means to me. Um, that's why I moved up here was specifically for the snow. I didn't know anybody. I didn't move up here for, for people. I didn't move up here for the lake. 
I didn't move up here for the ski resorts, I moved up here for the snow. And when we get supposedly big storms coming in, it gets me really, really, really hyped. But yeah, as I said, I, I hope we, we at least get a foot out of this. And, it, and if we're lucky, 18 inches or something. But I'm sure some parts of town in the higher elevations might get a couple feet still. But yeah, I'm gonna hold out hope though, guys. I hope all of you are doing well. Having a good night. I mean, look at look at all the stars up there. If you can see, I don't think you can through the camera, but it's a starry, starry night. Starry, starry night. Ain't your palette blue and gray? And over there, you can see clouds rolling in over the mountain right there. That's the ski resorts, so that's why it's so lit up over there, where you can see those clouds, but unfortunately, I'm just not getting any snow yet. And I'm sorry for wasting your guys' time with this update. As I said, usually I wouldn't do an update like this unless we're actually getting snow. But because of all the tourists in town and all the tourism, um, and people are probably wondering what the heck's going on. Obviously, they can. you guys can look it up, on the weather but I'd rather you guys check it out here so you can actually like hear my thoughts about it because I'm not going to use any hyperbole or anything like that like I'm going to be as honest as I can because as I said you guys spend a lot of money to come up here I'm gonna roll down this window real quick it's 26 degrees so those are the clouds coming in over the mountain but then as soon as they get over the mountain they just die off I'm gonna try to find a little bit of snow falling right now. So we're gonna go into uh, deep into Moon Ridge to Bear Mountain and just see if at the mountain they're getting a little bit of snow at all. But no matter what, the further we go this direction, you guys, the more opportunity there is for snow and the more snow will fall. There's always more snow on the Big Bear Lake side of town than the Big Bear City. If you guys watched the aftermath video, I gave you guys in, uh, or showed you guys the example of what I coined as the Big Bear Snow Rule, which is that basically on one side of town, like at the dam, if, if they get a foot of snow, the other side of town, which is the exact same elevation, just eight miles away, might not even have a whole inch of snow. That's just how nutty it is up here. Because you got the desert climate fighting with, with that moist ocean air coming in and it seems like the desert climate always wins out it's crazy Baldwin Lake never will ever see as much snow as Big Bear Lake ever anyway we're coming up to Stanfield cutoff and then we're gonna as I said head, head over towards Bear Mountain it's uh, 2 10 in the morning 25 degrees I was hoping to be driving around and spinning around in some snow right now. For me, it would be like waking up on Christmas morning and no presents under the tree. Like, that's the way that it would make me feel. <laughs> Seriously. That's how much I love the snow. But I'll bet when we get to Bear Mountain, we'll have a couple snow flurries. As a matter of fact, no, that's not snow flurries right now. We're gonna take the main route just so you guys see where we're going. lights up on the top of there that's snow summit ski resort 
usually it's much more lit up than that. I don't know why they don't have all the lights on like they usually do. It's beautiful for the tourists to see at nighttime how beautiful the mountain looks with all the lights on, but oh well. Oh freaking well. so many cool people on this channel you got I have the hiccups now you guys have been so cool man I really appreciate all the love all the beautiful comments I mean seriously there is so much beauty on this channel and the love you guys show me is has been paramount to I think literally my survival as ridiculous as that sounds you guys for those of you who've been watching like even a month a month and a half ago I was at one of my lowest points I've ever been emotionally and uh, like, like, dude, it was, it was, it was gnarly. And without you guys constantly showing me love and leaving me the most beautiful comments, um, worried about me and stuff, showing that actual people care, I don't know what would have happened. And I'm not, I'm not BSing either. Like, I, I'm, I, I owe you guys everything. I owe you guys my whole entire life. One of my favorite hotels in town, the Best Western. From the outside, from the front, it kind of looks like a miniature overlook from that movie, The Shining. But yeah, we're gonna drive out here. Hopefully, when we get to Bear Mountain, we'll get a couple snow flurries, but that's all it would be. It's still clear skies above us, but I'm hoping right at the bottom. I mean, that'll at least give me a little bit of hope that something's trying to move through. But it's like as soon as the clouds get over the mountains right here, they hit that dry, arid air, and it just rips the storms apart. That's why one side of town hardly gets any snow. In the aftermath video, there were parts of town that the whole ground was brown. There was no white anywhere. But then the other side of town has, a, has like a foot of snow. It's crazy. It's crazy how that works up here. So we're going to take the main route to Bear Mountain. So we're going to want to turn right here at the new zoo. This is called Club View. And for those of you who like sledding and want to go to a nice little sledding spot without paying, if you just stay on Club View, I would drive up there typically. But if you just stay on this road and stay to the right the whole time until it dead ends at the top, it's a neat little sledding place. And in the summertime, it's a great off-roading area. It's the the 2N10 is what that road is called up there. It'll be closed now in the winter time, but it's a good place to go sledding. There's places to park your cars up there. Um, yeah, and you don't have to pay. And not paying is good sometimes. So, but yeah, this is, uh, what's that sound? Oh, you know what it is? It's the snow rubbing against my, my tires. 24 degrees better roll up my window before it gets to a point where it gets too cold when I had my Mercedes ML it, one night when it was like 2 degrees I blew out two of the insides of the damn window trying to roll down the window they both like exploded like all the all the stuff that makes the window roll up and down like I, I'm not really smart when it comes to that stuff I don't know anything about cars but yeah, as soon as I hit window down, you could just hear bang, bang, and then the windows were broken. And since it was a Mercedes, it cost like 500 bucks per part. So I didn't get any of it fixed because <laughs> I couldn't afford it. Okay, so we're coming up to Bear, and I'll show you guys which, like where to go for the, for the sledding. As I said, we won't go all the way up, but you're just gonna wanna stay on this road to the right. Just keep on going. Here's Bear Mountain to the left. We're gonna go to Bear, but you just stay up here to the right and it's maybe about a quarter mile up here on the right where it dead ends. It says road closed to through traffic residents only. Um, obviously you, you, you might wanna heed that information, but unfortunately, but that's where the sledding is. So we're, we're not getting any snow here at Bear, unfortunately. Look at all these plows, that's crazy. Plow after plow. Such a bummer. 
hopefully I can get some sleep for the big part of the storm that's that will be here well as I said they say noon but I don't re I don't really remember the last time when they said it's like if it's supposed to start at like 7 in the morning that it actually started at 7 like as the days would progress then it would be like 9 a.m. and then 10 a.m. and then noon like it just keeps on keeps on being pushed back but as I said it doesn't look like this storm stalled out it it, it, it appears as if it's, it's it's kind of doing a little bit of a different track but I'm no certified meteorologist so I'm just used to this up here unfortunately disappointment when it comes to the forecast I'm very used to that <laughs> tried to hit that bump a little hard so we could try to get some of the snow in between the tires and stuff like that off. We're on Moonridge Road, folks. And we're going to take this all the way back. It's not, I don't live too far from here, so. And I'll get this updated, this disappointing video. And what's crazy also is I want to thank you guys who subscribe because I never ask you guys to. I never ask you guys to hit the like button or anything. So that's that's another reason that I love this channel so much and I love you guys so much because it's so authentic. You guys are here because you want to be here. Not that I'm begging you to subscribe or anything like that. I mean, there's one video in one of my live videos my mom wanted me to just to ask people to and I because when your mom asks you to do something, you do it. So I appeased her even though I didn't want to do it. I've only asked one time in like 2,700 videos. And I, I just, I really appreciate where this channel's at and who you, who all of you are. Because you guys are here because you want it. You guys are very loving and kind. The comments tra just transform my life. Like I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm very grateful for it. So we will be shutting this off in just a second here. So the drive we just did is we went into Big Bear City and then came back around to Big Bear Lake. And now we're, we're on Moon Ridge Road. You remember this tree where we turned at Club View? So we're gonna shut it off here, but I promise you once it starts snowing, I'll be out here. You guys know I will. <sighs> I'm sorry again. I, 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 I know it's not my fault, but I just feel really bad because I, I pump everybody up about this stuff and then nothing. So hopefully we get lucky and then all of a sudden it starts snowing sooner, but I, I doubt it. Anyway, cheers, you guys. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for all the love and support. I'm super, super grateful for all of you. Each and every single one of you have such a huge impact on my life. I appreciate you guys. Thank you.